rolling into this morning's Saturday session, Drive-By Truckers. The band formed in Athens, Georgia 20 years ago, and they've been exploring the music and culture of the American South ever since. The new album continues that tradition with a piercing look at issues of race and police brutality. You'll hear two of those songs in a moment, but first, I sat down with founding members Patterson Hood and Mike Cooley at the Gibson Guitar Showroom here in New York City. The roots of drive-by truckers go back to Muscle Shoals, Alabama, the epicenter of American rhythm and blues, where founders Patterson Hood and Mike Cooley grew up. Hood's father, David Hood, is bass player in the legendary Muscle Shoals rhythm section. I would listen to my dad's record collection and basically try to copy the songs I liked. So I was basically trying to rip off Elton John or whatever. How did it start for you, Mike? I wanted to play guitar as soon as, as long as I could remember. Hood and Cooley have been playing together for 30 years now. How did you guys actually meet? We were roommates. Well, that's pretty fortuitous. The day, the day I moved in, I noticed he had a guitar in the corner, and I had a guitar. When we first started playing together, we weren't any good at all, but we already had a kind of, there was like a chemistry about it. We played lousy better together than apart. Yeah, we, we had a, it was a shared incompetence. <laughs> yeah. That, that we... <laughs> Their first break came in the late 1980s, when their first group, called Adam's House Cat, won Musician Magazine's unsigned band contest. All that really did was stun our growth, I think, at the time, mm -hmm. you know. It and, really did. It's yeah. a little bit of a kiss of death, in a way. Why do you think it stunned your growth? We, we weren't ready to get that kind of attention yet. Right. Yeah. We, we you know. By the time they formed Drive-By Truckers in 1996, they were determined to make it on their own terms. And all of a sudden, people started showing up. You built your following the old-fashioned way. You just, yeah, for sure. You just kept going on tour. We didn't have the money coming in to quit our jobs, but we no. did anyway. <laughs> and we just, we basically just lived on the road and starved for, you know, until it built up. Yeah. I don't want to do it again, but I'm, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't take anything for it. It was a great experience. Yeah, yeah. He was running down the street. Shot him in his tracks. The truckers' latest album started coming together last year after Hood was asked to write an op ed piece for the New York Times Magazine. Did you know what you wanted to say? I knew what I felt. It was just weeks after the mass shootings of nine African Americans at a Charleston church, and the Confederate flag still flew over the South Carolina State House. You know, it just felt so wrong. Hood's essay was titled, The South's Heritage is So Much More Than a Flag. If you want to talk about heritage, you know, let's put, you know, grandma's cornbread on the flag, you know, <laughs> fly that one, I, you know, or, or, or Booker T and the MGs, put that on a flag. I'll, I'll, I'll salute that yeah. all day long. The day I actually wrote my first draft of the op-ed, I also wrote a song called uh, Darkened Flags on the Cusp of Dawn. Darken flags on the cusp of dawn. American Band is the Truckers' 11th studio album. After 20 years together, they've now played well over 2,000 shows. How do you keep challenging yourselves every night when you're out there? It's not so much challenging yourself as it is to still believing that you're just getting started, I guess. I'm just now getting good at it. I yeah, mean, yeah. You know, I can't quit now. It's like I'm finally getting the hang of this. We are kind of getting started now. Yeah.